<gasps> oh my gosh, they can go downstairs now. Oh, this is gonna be harder. They're not all like contained in one room anymore. They're all fiddling, fiddling around the house. Boonies. Welcome back to a new episode of The Sims 4 Dream House with our new sledded switched up family because of course Jesse and Roxaroo are not all on their own and our Frankaroo of course because uh, Taylor, Emily and the twins have moved in to the Dream House. This is because a lot of our other Sims are moving out to the city and they want Jesse and Roxy to be all on their own and also I kind of feel like Emily would kind of be like you know I am the only like adult that's not elder other than Emma so you know I feel like I should be the one getting the Dream House so these guys have moved back here. We're gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking of the house. There may be a little bit of arguing while we decide who gets the biggest rooms, but they are going to be our new dream house family. So if you guys are excited, give a little cheeky thumbs up. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know in the comments below. Share it with anybody else that you think might enjoy this. And I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let's play some Sims 4 Dream House. Ciao! <gasps> Where are all you guys? You guys are still at the wedding. Very strange behavior. Okay, we'll zoom in on Elder Taylor. So here we are back in our beautiful dream house. With our super cute double button head baby cutie pie, fluffy, beautiful, gorgeous ones. <gasps> Taylor's responsibility is out of the range. Is in the range to earn the responsible trait. How? 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 I didn't think you kept all this responsibility stuff when you became an adult. So that's sort of very strange behavior. Jess Aru, you are meant to be at work, young lady. Can you get your butt into work? Taylor, are you meant to be at work? What did you do that was so irresponsible? I can't really figure it out. Awful strange. You're not meant to be at work either, so that's pretty odd. One thing that's interesting is Taylor does have a teeny tiny bit of romance from Jessica. I think that's back from when our club gatherings had romance as one of like the actions. So there could be a tiny little bit of awkwardness here, especially because those two are more similar in age. But we are gonna have to do a little bit of rejigging in this house. Now, I know, no actually, I think Emily and Taylor only ever had this room for like a tiny, tiny amount of time. And I kind of feel like we should leave that room to little Jessie Bobs. And little, I don't think it's fair to go into the house and just immediately kick them out of their room and I'm kind of feeling like one of these two rooms would probably be best suited to Lil Taylor and Emily. I'm kind of vibing that they would like this room. That one's cool but it's got loads of artsy kind of stuff in there. I think they would like like the clean lines and slim simplicity of this room here which was of course at one time James's room. Ah! I may just switch out some of the stuff in here that I don't really think is gonna be to Emily's taste. There's a few bits and bobs that I'm not sure just how much she'd be digging, you guys. Like that guitar, for starters. I'm not sure how much she'd like that. I'm gonna keep some of the stuff that's like, you know, like when my chidder were young kind of thing though, because I don't want to get rid of that. But we know Emily and Taylor have a very stylish, beautiful kind of style. Style, style that I want to keep them on, so I'm not going to get rid of that. I will just try and make their room, though, a little bit more Emma and Taylor-fied, you know? It needs to, like, I've changed the bed out and stuff. They just have, like, a certain sort of class about them, don't they? And I want to keep that, don't they? <laughs> Don't do why I'm talking like that. I think Emily would be appreciating this beautiful window here though. I know that's a little bit weird. They are literally the, like, the most awkward things to set up in any game. They are super annoying. Any game being just The Sims. There we go, some beautiful little curtains for there as well. Giving Emily a little vanity as well with a mirror behind it, just because I feel like she'd be down for that kind of vibe, you know? I can't imagine Emily not having a vanity, to be honest with you. Although I don't know if she had one before, but shh, okay? Shh. Okay, this room is giving me very strong Emily and Taylor vibes now, which means when I go back over to Luna Bear's room, I'm kind of feeling like this room was actually Faith's room when she was a little girl. And it kind of gives me like quite strong toddler sort of vibes. So I think that is what we are gonna do. What I am gonna do, however, is take a lot of this stuff and put it in the family inventory because these are all like um, Luna's stuff that she's collected that really I should have tried to... I may try and put back in her inventory if I can just because I definitely don't want to get rid of it. It's all wonderful stuff she's like collected. So, you know, we have to keep it with her for her new place and maybe she can even collect some more as well. All these strange little space rocks and what have you. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot how much weird stuff she had. 
She was quite the collector, you guys. Even a weird little gnome. Oh, there's these just like little flowers and stuff everywhere. Oh, and all, we need to give her all, like, all her space stuff back, like these pictures and stuff too. This is cool because now we've got this big old room ready for us to turn into a room for the Twinilims. So I really like the beds that we gave them in the old place, which were these ones here. However, I think we may go for a slightly different color combo here because we've got like, you know, violet and indigo. So maybe their beds should be like violet and indigo. Do you get where I'm going with this, you guys? Wait, they, they weren't the beds they had. They were these ones. Okay. This room's like way too dark at the moment. I'm going to change that first because it's stressing me out. <gasps> this wallpaper's got like violet and indigos in it. Is it a little bit garish? It's meant to be a kid's room, right? So it's kind of meant to have this sort of, you know, garbage in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this room is actually big enough to have the crazy like play mats in it. Are they actually nice colors though? Oh, you can get some different ones. Okay. Any that are kind of tickling off fancy here you guys i've never been able to use these before so this is kind of interesting i sort of hate them all so let's forget that idea <laughs> i do kind of agree with though having like loads of big like play mats and stuff on the floor for kids because otherwise they're just gonna like hurt themselves so the more like big old mats you can have to protect their little feeties the better you know what kids are like desperate to get injured really okay violet and indigo kind of okay i think we're done it's a pretty full room, and as you can tell, they're pretty spoiled, but I love their, like, little sleeping area. I think it's really cute. I've got rugs on the floor just to protect their little, their little teeny tiny toddler feeties, guys. They've even got an actual slide in their room. Can we just talk about that for a second? How cute is that? They've got this beautiful little bookcase over here that I believe, uh... I think Connor had that. I'm going to keep theirs white, though. And then they've got their own little Mitchy Munchy colour things of everything, including their high chairs and their wee chairs. Basically, the cutest thing in the whole world. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And when they're older, we can, like, you know, switch things around a little bit. But for now, I kind of feel like we just need to, you know, bring them upstairs and put them in the rooms. So if you pick up that one and you pick up that one, I know it's not, it's a little uncouth to refer to your children as this one and that one, but you'll get what I mean. It's tough when there's toddlers, you know? Okay, you've got her in your hands, so I need to rush and put her upstairs before I put, before she gets away. Oh no, already he's putting her back down again. Taylor! Pick up your child. Okay, put indigo down there. And then Emily, you're gonna have to put Violet down there. It's hard to remember everyone everyone's names. And also, Emily just got a call for work to say her performance is shaky. Now she's hit supermodel and she's like, nah, nah, nah. I don't care either way. I've hit the top, so you know. There's only one way from here and I don't care for it, so bun work. Okay, go put Violet down in her beautiful beautiful room check this out taylor you're a super parent you must be just freaking out about how awesome this room is and this one i believe you're violet right no you're indigo okay so this one here is your bed and then this one here is yours i may just switch up their appearance a little bit just to mitchy match their colors a little bit more because right now violet is wearing indigo and indigo is wearing violet she don't make a whole lot of sense, does it? So, Indigo, you should, because we're going down this whole twin has to look a certain way look, you should be wearing Indigo clothes, which are like that, I guess. Or like that at the very least. I mean, we could probably mix up your clothes a little bit now. I'm kind of vibing this sort of a vibe. Vibe, stop saying that word. So I think Indigo is like a bluish sort of color. So I'm kind of feeling like that works. Indigo, perfect. This is not indigo, little bun bun. That one is indigo and then party. Oh, you're totally the wrong color there. Let's get you in some indigo style clovies. Perfect. And then you, my little sweet angel face. You are violet, which is like purpley, like so. That way, oh, you're wrong. How did I get these so wrong? None of these are really violet. Uh... No, they're not really violet, are they? That's the closest, but even then, not really violet. And you know how much I need to have them matching, you guys. 
Yes, that makes you literally look like you should be on top of a cake. That's more Violet. Okay, we're switching this look. Switching this one up a little bit. There you go. And you also need matching ones because we're that weird family. I don't think it's weird. If I had twins, I'd find it very tempting if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Let's go ahead and give you the equivalent. There you go. You guys have some cool ideas for these kids when they get a little bit older. Like make them dancers, make them this, make them that. The thing is, you say make them dancers. I don't really know what you mean by that. <laughs> Is that like a dance in Korea? Like, what do you want from me when you say that? I need to make sure we're on the same page as each other for this to work. Otherwise, I'm just going to be a little bit confused by the whole thing. Violet, I'm, I'm finding you a tough kookaroo again. This game does not have enough Violet options for me is what I'm noticing. None of these are Violet, you guys. Oh, uh, it's still not close enough. I'm going to have to mix up this look again. That is Violet. Okay, and you know what? It looks so damn cute on you, child, that I'm quite happy with that. Violet and violet -ish. Oh, those shoes are so cool! Look at those humbly colored angel shoes! Okay, now you are looking much more violet and you know how we do. You have to dress a certain way. You are gonna be dressed the same way. You are indigo, which is like this, I guess. There you go. Michi matcha ruin yourselves with each other all over again. Those trainers are wild as well. Oh my gosh, I actually love these, but I want them both to have the cool jazzy multicolored ones. Okay, there we go. Those guys are a little bit more mitchy matchy with each other now. Cute little beans. I actually can't wait to age them up and see how they're gonna look, but I need to let them be toddlers for a little bit longer yet, you guys. And make sure they can talk, walk, not poo themselves, be able to feed themselves, not, you know, stick in the fingers and plug sockets. All the usuals. Can I just say that this still hurts, by the way? I've literally just taken off my knuckle and it's just raw skin. Functioning with just raw skin like a zombie. Oh my gosh, Emily's parenting. Fair play to you, Emily. You're actually parenting for once. Why don't you do some teachers? Do some parenting and i think this will be nice as well for little jesse and roxy roxy is still in her little rig out from the wedding but they will get to hang out with little you know now that all their kids have flown the nest and they're finally free from the the grasp of children look they get to have more in their house messing things up being all screwy ruining everyone's day now they've got it back in their lives again I bet they're so happy about that. No, I think I think they'd be fairly happy with it. She seems sort of happy. You can change out that rig out, you know. Change to your daily rig out. And it means that Jessie gets to hang out with her sister more. I'd say Jessie and Emily are probably the sisters that have the least in common with each other. I actually think, like, Je uh, Emily and Emma even do. But, you know, at least they have the whole twin bond. So it'd be quite nice for those two to kind of, you know, have a nice relationship together. It means these guys, even these, like, even, like, uh, Roxy and Emily can have a nicer relationship together and stuff. So these little wild children are learning, learning about about manners, learning how to talk, learning how to be released into the world, wearing their little Disney princess rig outs, as well adjusted wonderful children. I'm kind of tempted to make her eyes Violet as well. So she's Violet in terms of her whole dress and her eyes. Cause she's got like bluey indigo eyes already. Oh, look at her eyes, so cute. If you guys want, oh my God, did you just poo yourself? Right in front of me, you guys, like no chill. Literally just pooped herself right in front of me. If you guys want me to make Violet's eyes Violet, I kind of want to do it. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and look at this. Roxaru is being... What would she be to them? What? Is it her auntie? I think it's an auntie, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It just seems so wild because they had their kids so old. And everybody's like all old and stuff now. Oh, and Zed being on the radio is making me think about... uh. Avicii. I, I've not been able to get that out of my head since it happened. I listened to him. Like, I was li literally listening to old music that I've probably not listened to in like eight or nine years. These old stuff that I absolutely loved when I was in like late high school, like early uni years. This is a long time ago. And I still love it all. Like like levels and super love and all that kind of thing. And yeah, he's like the same age as me. I'm just not, it's just, I'm slit. Why are you guys just sat there eating a full cake? It's just literally still making me really sad. I can't really believe it's happened to be honest. Oh and guys, isn't this just typical? Emily and Taylor move in and are like, Yes, free babysitters, because Jessie is straight in there, in her little science gear, looking after her cute little niece. It's been a long time since Jessie's had any kids that age, really. Oh, Taylor's in here as well. These three are parenting. What are you up to, Em? Oh, you're just sat in the dark, listening to some EDM. 
Okay, you're clearly a lot younger than everybody else in this house. Why don't you at least, like, clean up? Like, do something, okay? Oh my gosh, they can go downstairs now. Oh, this is gonna be harder. They're not all, like, contained in one room anymore. They're all riddling, riddling around the house. Which is super annoying because I literally have their dinner all here for them. Little bowl of peas. The bowl of peas are there, but there's no chitter to be eating them. Oh, and look, another babysitter. Another old elder babysitter. All the old people in the house are looking after the babies, and Emily's just not really doing a great deal. Oh, well done, Roxaroo. At least we've got you doing some good feeds of the wee chitter there, even though she's hungry herself. What absolute babe. Oh, and well done, Taylor. <gasps> look at them sat right next to each other. How I oh, it's going really fast again. But how actually cute is that? I know you're sad and you need to go to bed, but just eat your peas all nicely and then you can go to bed, okay? Oh my gosh, I really want to give her violet eyes. I can't help it. I just, I feel like she should have violet eyes. I'll tell you what, let's just, let's just try them on. Let's literally just try them on. Okay, let's see how you look, little cutie bun bun with violet eyes. Violet's probably that, isn't it? Either that or that. <gasps> she looks so cute. So cute. I think those ones, are they purple or violet though? That's pink. That's probably violet and that's purple. So it'd be these ones. Guys, I love her with violet eyes. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll make them violet. And then if you don't like them, tell me to change them back to blue or indigo. But Indy already has Indy eyes and then Vio has Vio eyes. Let me know what you think of that. I think it's super cute though. Indigo and violet. I'm literally doing the berry challenge with all the different colors, but within a series. I do really want to do the um, berry challenge or not so berry challenge, is it? However, I don't know how to mess with saved games. I don't want to accidentally lose all of this. So that's what makes me a little bit scared. Okay, Taylor Rooney, why don't you go ahead and put the little wee babbies to bed? Violet goes in her bed and Emily, do you want do you want to help maybe? Do you want to go ahead and put the other one in that bed? What do you say? Are they going into their beds? <gasps> yes, they are. Little babies in their little matchy color color beds. <gasps> so cute. Oh, look at them all. They have literally so, so many people coming to look after them right now, you guys. I actually think that potentially moving them in here was the best idea ever because these little wee barbies are going to be very, very well cared for. Probably quite spoiled and they'll have adults at their beck and call whenever they actually want, which is nice. Even Jessie Bob's coming in there in her mad scientist outfit to give Indy a little kiss on the head. Even though she has a bad kiss of the truly woolies. <gasps> oh, my, oh, I thought it was Emily. I thought Emily had got straight in there being like, oh, she knew. She knew which one was her bed. Well done, little Emily Rooney. Taylor, do you want to get into bed as well? Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. I just wanted you to claim it. Why don't everybody get into their respective beds? I'll turn the music off because that's just a pure waste of energy right there. And the whole of the beautiful family are getting into their little beds. I don't know why there's all these lights on in that room. You've got your night lights. There you go. Oh, wow. Where are those stars going? Oh, they're a bit high, aren't they? They're off into space. There we go. That's a little bit more of a manageable size. Oh, I love little, little cute toddlers. It makes me super broody playing this game. Like literally, the three things in life that made me super broody were Ali, <laughs> uh, Evie. Evie has made me so broody because she's like, you don't understand, Evie wants to be carried in my arms everywhere. She's constantly like looking up at me with like the cutest expression. On a night, I literally hold her like a baby in my arms when we go to sleep or I lie on my chest and she lies here. And then the Sims is the third thing. So, you know, just two babies on the brain. Go away, be gone. I am too young, too young and I have too much to do. And then there's Frankaroo sleeping in the bathroom like the little fatty. I always want to call it a boy, but she's a girl. Sleeping there like the little fatty that she is. I totally forgot as well. I, I remembered like that she had babies with Mojo. Oh, two kitty cats did a little conjoin for some kitty kitty kittens. The only kittens we've ever had. Although we do have puppies in Broken right now, you guys. Just saying. Oh, look at that. The butler's off tidying. Going through the house. Turning all the lights on just to get a fleck of dust off the TV. 
Are you joking me right now? What are you called? J Janice or something? Can you not? Jamie! 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 Get out! <laughs> I'm sure the elders will be- Oh, now the cat's switching the lights on. I'm sure the elders will be up for their nightly wee routine soon anyway. And then have to manage, micromanage the toilet order. There's three elders in this house. Probably combined the oldest house in the whole of the series, I would say. I'd say Jesse and Roxy are kind of like late 50s, early 60s now. Probably 60s, I would say. Maybe? Okay, Jesse. Jesse needs the toilet first. You go in first then, my love, and get your wee-wees out the way. Oh, it's hard holding them in. Look, she's still young at heart with her little rabbit slippers on. Oh, only just made it. Only just made it. Who's next? Oh, Roxy, you're going to be next, aren't you? I'll preempt it. There you go. But to sleep, uh, but to toilets, please. There you go. And then Taylor. Oh, Taylor. Yours is holding out much better. Much, much better. And one thing I was thinking with these two, and you guys have talked about this as well, is all of our families, once they get to a certain age, they kind of just stay together and it's smooth sailing. And for a lot of families, that is the case. And really, that's the ideal situation, isn't it? That's how you want your life to go. However, that isn't the case with everybody. And I was kind of thinking for realism's sake, should I have some drama later on in people's life? So maybe Emily is not really happy with having such an older husband. Maybe she, because she's like this, she's still a supermodel model probably surrounded by a lot of good looking model men and, and what have you at work maybe she gets a wandering eye as she gets a little bit older these are some of the crazy crazy storylines we could incorporate if we so chose chose to do so jeez we are just wasting wasting in this house this is going off in there as well i've just like emily's got up as well first i've got her to break some breakfast and i've also just realized they basically have free childcare for their babies all day don't they because if emily and taylor go into work which they both are doing today they literally have people at home looking after their babies for them for free this was a very cheeky move i see how you're thinking emily i see you smart little cookaroo oh my, my free childcare faith has gone and moved out. I must get some more free childcare. I like the way you think there, Emily. Smart and conniving, but you can't fault you for it. Very smart behaviour. Go and make your spinach, spinach frittatas, you sly old fox. Sly young fox. That's the issue. But you know what? At least she's like cooking some spinach frittatas for everybody and that kind of thing. At least, oh, okay. Frankie's ill. Frankie is ill. I thought I built a vet station, but nobody's actually trained in veterinary skill, are they? I actually, no, Jesse's level two. And also, I kind of feel like, I, fe I feel like with uh, Jesse's background in science that she would, I feel like she would be able to fix little animal arenas. I'm gonna buy a, a, a Vet's table right now. I like how literally the dream house has so much money that I can buy the more expensive vet table than Kira actually has in her real life vets. So that's pretty interesting. Kira, maybe you can just work from home here. <laughs> it's not your home though. Okay, let's examine Frankie. Jesse, because you're a little smarty science bob, you can do all this business. <gasps> Look at this. The reason why her job performance is dropping is... Oh, I thought she had work today. She actually doesn't have work today. Oh, well, it's great to be you then. You can have a day in the gym. And maybe Jesse and Roxy can have a day with the toddlers. And meanwhile, I can just examine Frankie in here. <laughs> kind of strange, but okay. Oh my gosh, she did it. She treated him. There we go. Fix it all treat. Done. Any pets at all now, I can just invite them round and Jesse can treat them all. Although Kira could have been doing that this whole time. Okay. Okay, now you need to go to work. But Frankie is all well again, so that's nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at these two, you guys. Doing a little Tiffany tablets together. I love these little rabbit tablets so much. Like, literally look at them. How cute are they? Also, that game looks lit. I want to play it. <laughs> and even the butler's looking in on them. Meanwhile, Emily is practicing her modeling. And now... She's off to go in and do an endurance run, you guys. She is a model, I guess. It is kind of like part of her job to care a lot about her appearance. But there's not much parenting going on, I'm noticing right now. Look at this music she's listening to. Like quite romantic, like Latin music. I could run to this. I like that. We'll get her in a romantic mood, won't it? Meanwhile, Rox is in there teaching your child her basic needs. Doing some little flash, even though she's sick, the poor thing. She's still in there doing some good parenting, you guys. So Emily's still doing her little jogs to Latin music. 
Little Taylor has come back from work, so I've added the sim to the game just in case you guys are wondering where he came from. But he is an intern at um, Taylor's work. So these guys are co-workers and he's also, he's like basically his campaign intern. It's called Herb Likat, if you look on the gallery. I've tweaked him a little bit, like I've changed him, but he, his face, like base model, I think I changed his chin, eyebrows, hair, eyelashes, clothes. Skin details. It's a few little bits. Uh, you can get him. He's one of the most popular sims to download right now. So that is where I've got him from. Wow, he just walked straight through that door. And he is going to be Taylor's new co-worker. You may notice he looks very similar to a young Taylor. Especially when we tried the blonde hair on young Taylor. So, you know, not that uncommon to bring co-workers home from work. Especially when you're a politician and you've got a budding new intern. Especially when you're a president. And you've got a budding new intern wanting to learn a few things about you. So these guys are just kind of hanging out, chit-chatting away. Probably debating a little bit of politics, I'd be thinking. Let's go ahead and... He could ask for a small bribe. Don't be doing that. When you chit-chat about your policies and whatnot. That kind of feels like the sort of thing you do. Talk about drink making as well. Ch watching T- Why are you watching kids TV as well? I feel like you'd at least be watching like sports or the news or something, but if you guys want to sit and watch TV, that is fine. That kids TV, that's fine. And you can definitely see a lot of resemblance between these two. I think we could be looking at the next president of the Sim States right there, you guys. Oh, and Herb is apparently receptive to Taylor's policies as well. So, you know, that's always a good sign. Meanwhile, Emily isn't here like, Taylor's never brought anyone home from work before. I'll make a little bit of dindins. Look at that. She's doing a little with the chili skills there, you guys. Looking pretty good, I would say, after a good jog. My hair definitely doesn't look like that after I've been jogging personally. But, you know, you know what Emily's like, you guys. She is a force of nature. And the chit chat about moving. So I wonder if Herb, I hope I'm saying his name right. Cause like it's got a little uh, flick on it, so it might be like herv. I don't know. Have they? Have they? Have they? cat. He is a cat. It might be that he's just moved to the neighbourhood, and you know he's just kind of starting to learn his job a little bit more. <gasps> it's, look, Taylor's poured some drinks, and then he's just throwing them on the floor. How rude. If you're gonna pour drinks, I'm at least gonna go ahead and put them on the table for you guys. And they're gonna grab a little bit of Emily's chili. I'm so sorry, Jave. We've just got spinach frittata from this morning just left. Left on the table. Gonna get spoiled in nine minutes time. I think I could save the day here. Michelle, there we go. Emily, you don't have to like sit over there. You can join present company if you want, you know. Oh my God, don't leave your chili, Jesus. Sims are such Egypts, you guys. There we go, saying hello to Taylor's new work friend. You could at least put some nice clothes on, you know, no. get dressed a little bit. Hey, <gasps> Why'd you just throw petals literally onto his head? What, what, what even just happened? Is that what an enchanting introduction is? I just thought that was seeming like wonderful and amazing. It's not annoyed Taylor, so it can't be like, it can't be a weird introduction. I think that's fine. Still sort of weird to do though, you guys. Oh, but look at this. At least he's very much, she's very much like, oh, hello, my wonderful husband. And now she's kind of like, wow, you literally look like my husband did 10 years ago. Oh, oh, and he's going a little bit flirty with her, I'm thinking. Oh, okay, and now Taylor's not very happy. To be fair, she totally rejected it. And instead she's blowing kisses. Ah, Taylor, you guys. I was kind of thinking I'll introduce this young, attractive, old school Taylor into the relationship and straight away Emily will be like, Arr. but instead she was like, no fake Taylor, Fela. I am all about my older boo. Even with his wrinkles and his baggy tummy. Oh, he's quite wrinkly and his gray hair. He is still my boo. That's what she was saying. Although I think despite that, she is quite enjoying being charmed by a young, a younger man. And in fact, Jave has gone off home. Oh, but these guys are arguing. Oh no, they're gossiping. I thought they were arguing, but they're not. They're just gossiping. Taylor is definitely a little bit jealous about Herb though, but he's the campaign manager. So um, he's like an in the campaign intern for Taylor's to campaign for re-election. So, you know, I feel like we're gonna be seeing a lot more of him and we already know that he is quite in to our little emily reno emily's pushed his advances back now if he's gonna be hanging around the house a lot more will that continue or will eventually especially the older and more different these guys get 
Hervé's advances start to become a lot more attractive to our very attractive little supermodel sim. Guys, what do you think? What do you think of little Hervé? Let me know in the comments below. And also, please let me know what you think of these two little cutie pies' room. Those guys have literally just been sat playing tablets for most of the day, just putting it out there. They are, like, actually ridiculously adorable, so... You guys can do whatever you want, because you are so cute, I don't mind. And if you want me to keep Violet with her violet eyes as well, I love them personally. Let me know about that in the comments below too. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Les Sims 4 Dream House. There could be a little bit of drama on the horizon. Could Taylor and Fela be having a face-off? Because Emily Reno is tempted by the younger model. Oh, it's just gone dark. It's just gone dark. Which means these little kitty cats probably need to be heading to bed pretty soon, you know. You can't play on the tablets all day, you little cutie pies. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Sims 4 Dream House with our slightly updated family. If you have, please let me know in the comments below. Ah, that is so cute. And I'll see you guys in another episode of Sims 4 Dream House. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh,